Hey, you. Okay, so, weird dream. Weird, weird dream. Weirder than the one where you step into a boxing ring and your hands are suddenly giant cream puffs? Weirder, scarier. Let's hear it. Well, I was home, and I was finishing up my usual morning routine, you know, coffee, shower, and then, picture this, very weird, I take Paul Anka for a walk. You walk Paul Anka every day, what's weird about that? Not the dog Paul Anka, the real Paul Anka. Whoa. Uh, yeah. Was he nice? Very pleasant, natty dresser. Then suddenly, he sees something, a cat or something, and darts right into the middle of the street. The real Polanka? The dog Polanka. So I call him and call him, but he completely ignores me and runs right into Dozy's market. You know, you didn't train him well enough. Too much affection, not enough discipline. So I go after him into Dozy's, and apparently he's got a job there. The dog Polanka? The real Polanka. You picked yourself some beautiful cucumbers, Mrs. Clancy. You have the cucumber eye. So I run out of dozies, and I'm approaching Luke's apartment, I guess to get help or something, and I'm walking to the door, and I open it, and there's Paul Anka in front of a microphone giving a little concert. The real Paul Anka. The dog Paul Anka. Couldn't have been happy you interrupting a show like that. He didn't notice. So I go down to the diner, and there, lo and behold, is Paul Anka sitting on Babette's lap. Please don't tell me it was... The real Paul Anka. Good boy. Who's a... Good boy. This is crazy. Coming to the end. So the real Paul Anka looks outside, and there, sitting in the middle of the street, staring at him, is dog Paul Anka. Uh-oh. So real Paul Anka gets up and runs out of Luke's. They're both in the street now. Real Paul Anka walking toward dog Paul Anka. Dog Paul Anka toward real Paul Anka. You can sense that something very bad is about to happen when suddenly they meet in the middle of the street, and bam, an otherworldly white light engulfs the whole town, and there's a loud explosion, and two barks, and everything goes dark. And? And then I woke up. Wow. <sighs> yeah. OK. So I guess I was wondering if you'd heard anything about a small Connecticut town being sucked up into an evil demon vortex or cast into the fourth dimension or anything. Nope. Real Paul Anka's still kicking? Haven't heard otherwise. Check your hands. No cream puffs. I think you're good to start your day. Thanks, hon. Anytime. Bye.